Okay, let us take a problem on discrete frequency distribution table. From the given age of people in a society, prepare a discrete frequency distribution. Okay. Now, as I told you, to prepare a discrete frequency distribution, what do you do? You will draw three columns. The first column will comprise of the variable. In this case, what is the variable? It's the variable is the age. So you write the age here. Okay. Now, what is the age out here? 23 seems to be the minimum age and 29 seems to be the maximum age. So we have 23, 24, do we have 25? Yes. 26, 27, 28 and 29. So step one was to list down variable okay step two to find out the tally marks let's do that we've got 23 so we write here 24 yes 23 one tally mark, 24, one here, 26, 26, 28, 27. You have to be very careful as you are marking these, 29, 1. Of course, you don't have the linings here, but you must use a lined paper as you do this, 23, 25. Okay, the first one hits here, 24, yeah, 24, again one more, 23. Yeah, one more. 25. Okay, 25. 27. Well, we've got 27 here. 24. 24, 4. So we strike this off. 26. Yeah. 28. 29. And 27. Right? Step 3 is to count frequency. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4 against 23, 5 against 24, 2 against 25, 2 again against 26, 3 against 27, 2 against 28, and again 2 against 29. Right? So by this means, we are able to form a discrete frequency distribution. Now you can easily interpret this. So if suppose someone was to ask you, how many people in the society have age of 25? So you immediately go back to the 25 column, okay? And as you see there, the frequency is two. So you can say there are two people in the society who are of the age 25. So this was first question. Let me put it as a question second. How many people are more than 25? Now who are more than 25? Anyone who is in the age of 26, 27, 28 and 29 is more than 25. So what do I do? I add up all the frequencies of the people who fall in these four age group brackets, which is nothing but 2 plus 3 plus 2 plus 2, which is 10. So I've got an answer to this question. Right? Similarly, there can be other questions also. If instead of, I would have asked you how many people are, let's say instead of more, 
I would have asked you less than 25. So less than 25 are the people whose age is 23 or 24. So I would have added up 4 plus 5 and the answer would have been 9. Right? So you can now use these distribution table to find out answers to various questions.